Hello kiddos. Welcome to Miss Lane's Room 9 classroom. I'm going to be working with you today on learning some vocabulary words, talking about recycling and going green. First of all, your re the word that we're going to be working on is seeds. Everything that we eat or plants that we look at and flowers that we see, almost everything there is comes from a seed. So we have different kinds of seeds we're going to look at today. This very big, fun seed, can you guess what it is? Well, if you can't, it's an avocado seed. I planted one, which not in the ground, I actually started it from just holding it in water with three toothpicks and just sticking it in a jar full of water and waiting for it to grow. So we have beautiful roots starting and a long stem and there's little tiny leaves getting ready to pop out. So pretty soon we're going to be having leaves on our avocado plant. Some other seeds that we have, these are from my yard. I just went out and found them in my yard. So you can take your own little field trip and walk around your yard and see if you can find different types of things in your yard that have seeds. Some of my flowers out in the backyard, if you once they die, if you let them stay till they dry out and you pull them out like this, they will have little seeds on them. Maybe I'll have some time to show you. If not, we'll catch it on a later video. This little seed came from a bush in my front yard. It's a little pod that kind of looks like a nut when they come out and they're in clusters. Clusters is when there's like a whole bunch of them together on a little stem. When it's ready to seed, it pops open. So it almost looks like a little flower on a stem when they pop open. And inside, there's these cute little red sticky seeds. Now right now they're not as sticky because they've dried out a little bit, but when they're first popped open and ready to drop, they're super, super sticky and a little syrup. And the reason they're sticky like that is when they fall onto the ground, they stay in the ground and the wind can't blow them away. Now, speaking of wind blowing seeds away, these little seeds, they're not quite that pretty, but they're um, from my maple tree. I have a very cool maple tree in the backyard and they almost look like little angel wings or butterfly wings or even bird wings. And this little part down here at the bottom has the seed in it. Now these are pretty dried out so they won't work as well, but when they're first ready to fall off the tree, these little wings act as propellers, so they spin around like this. So when the wind catches them, they fly in the wind and land in various places, and then they will get covered up and start growing, and you will have a new maple tree. So there's three different kinds of seeds I've shown you there. Um, one other seed I have, which I probably misplaced it, so we'll just move on. Um, so the next thing we're going to be working on is um, figuring out what materials we need. So the materials that we will need for today are some soil. This is potting soil from a bag that you can buy at your um, hardware store or like Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, maybe Dollar Store might even have some as well. Uh, the other thing you're going to need is seeds. So we have seeds from flower seeds to vegetable seeds. You can even do herbs. So your parents can use those for cooking. We have lots of bright, pretty flower seeds. But the ones that we're going to be using today is morning glory. So with the morning glory, We've got our seeds, let's see, we have our soil now, we have our seeds now, and the next thing we're going to need is water. And then we're going to need something to plant it in. Well, we're going to be using some recycled materials today. And one of the recycled materials that we're going to be showing you today is what has little cherry tomatoes in that you can buy at the store. And it has a little reservoir or a bowl and a top. The top, has three holes, I mean one big hole on the top, and one, two, three, four little holes. We want to leave this this paper on because it kind of self sticks and then you can pull it back. If it stops sticking, you can take some of your glue stick and rub it on the, the top of the container and then pop that back down again. On the bottom part of the reservoir, 
it has two little holes on the bottom and this acts as drainage for your plants. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our soil and we're going to fill our purple container for our tomatoes up with some soil and we want to, you know, get it nice and nice and full here. Make sure we don't have any on the edges and we're going to give it a nice little pat down. Then the next thing we're going to do is give it some water. I think wetting it first a little bit before you start makes it easier and then your seeds don't accidentally like go somewhere else. So we're just gonna put a little bit of water in. When you start seeing it drip out, little drips of water come out the little sides of the holes, you'll know you have enough water in there. So we're just gonna put a little bit more water. See how the water's dripping out now? Make sure you do this in the sink or outside in the backyard because if you put too much water in it and you leave it on your mom's counters, she's not going to be happy with you. So we want to make sure that mom stays happy. Okay, now we've got our little container for our little flowers. And like I said, we're doing morning glory. And this is what morning glory looks like. It's a vine. It grows up on a trellis. That's the kind of uh, plant that grows from this particular seed. So. Here we've got some seeds, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to plant four in this particular little container. So we're going to put our finger in and make four little holes, and you want to go in almost up to your digit where your finger bends, that's the digit. We want to go just up to that. And it is easier to do when it's wet, and you'll see that I've got four nice little holes. Then I'm going to drop one seed. You could probably put two seeds in each hole. Let's put two seeds in each hole. One, two. Next, what we're going to do is just gently pinch the soil back over the top of the hole. And it's all covered up. Then we're gonna take the lid, the top of the tomato container, and we're going to just snap it back into place and it snaps on there. There you go, it's back in place. And now we have a nice little greenhouse. Now set this by a window where it's sunny. You can leave it in the inside of your house. And what will happen is condensation will build up on the inside of it to help keep it moist longer. It'll also increase the temperature so that the seeds start to grow faster. So that's really important. Don't leave it in the sun too long and don't forget about it that you do need to add water occasionally. So all you have to do is pull this top back and either pour in a little bit more water or better yet, you can get a squirt bottle and just give it a few little squirts and then close it right back up and set it in a nice sunny window. Some of the other things that we've done with recycling and making containers is using egg cartons. These are really great for planting seeds as well. So I'm going to just show you real quickly what we have here. This is one that I made and I haven't finished planting it yet, but we won't have time for that today. But what I did is I cut out the top. I cut out the very center of this egg carton, not the whole thing because I want to be able to have a lid. And then I laid plastic over the top and the plastic that I used is the plastic bags that mom and dad put their vegetables in to bring home. So I just cut out a little rectangle and then I taped it all the way around the edge. So you can use duct tape, you can use painter's tape, uh, masking tape. Uh, the clear tape doesn't work as well, so you can try it, but um, it'll hold the plastic together, but it won't stick to the, to the cardboard of the um, egg container. So then what we do is they have individual little holes here that you can plant. You can put your dirt in and then poke your, wet it and then poke your finger in and then plant your little seed. And right here I have six morning glories in there. So that's one way that we can do it. Another great recycle tip is these are creamer containers. I don't know if your mom and dad use creamer in their coffee, but if they do, this cover here comes off and then you end up with a clear bottle. And what I've done is I've cut it down low and you can determine the height that you want. 
and then I cut a piece off the front. So you'll see this right here. So this is at the bottom. This is the top where the lid was, and I just took a section out. So it doesn't matter how high you get this. You could probably make it a little bit higher. I was thinking of making a birdhouse out of this, but it didn't quite work out. So I like to try and experiment with different things. But this is really fun because you just fill it with dirt. There's no holes in here, so you have to be careful about drainage. So you don't want to get your soil too wet. Let's take a little bit of this out. And we'll add our water. Give it a little shake. And see, I'm holding it over my dirt. And you can see that the water's starting to fill in because it starts to change color a little bit. So we'll give it a little bit more on this side. We don't want to get it too wet. That should be enough. You can tell it gets a little bit heavier too. All right, and that's probably a little too wet. You can see it's starting to look damp, but we'll just sprinkle a little bit more dry dirt on there. And then we're going to poke our holes. And then we'll plant some seeds. Sorry, you can't see that, that was rude. We'll plant some seeds. I just put one seed in each little hole, then I'm pushing the dirt back over the top and I don't need to water it again because I've already added my water. And then we'll take the lid and it goes on the inside because this is a little, it kind of narrows up. So this is a little smaller than this so it sits on the inside and we'll just gently push that down. You don't have to get it all the way on there. But again, now we have a nice little greenhouse. You can cover the top if you like to help that condensation build up so that it keeps the seeds nice and warm and they will grow faster. It helps them germinate faster. And germinating is when they're in the water and they start to break open and create a plant. Well, I'd like to thank you for sharing this time with me. All the instructions will be down on the link below. Um, all your material lists will be on the link below. And um, please enjoy this project, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.